Right, welcome back or hello for the first time. Uh, my name's Tim, Tim from Wales, and I am pretty standard average mountain biker. Most things done on my own budget and pretty much everything that I review or show on this channel is something I bought with my own money because I'm not sponsored. Anyway, today I just wanted to talk about my puncture repair kit and what you see here in front of you from left to right is all the stuff that I carry in my in my pack here or strapped to my bike with this this is all the stuff that I've got on me uh, at any time at the moment for uh, for dealing with a, a puncture so what I'm going to do is just start from this side and just talk through all of these and then um, if you've got any questions you can put them below and just one quick thing I did ask some people on Twitter to uh, uh, let me know what they carried in their puncture kits and um, if you're interested in that I'll pop that at the end starting from this side um, obviously a pump if you have a puncture at some point you're gonna need to pump it back up tube I am running tubeless but uh, everyone will tell you you should really still carry a tube um, so there's a tube now if you've got to get your tire off you probably need a tire lever I only carry one because on my uh, bike multi-tool there's actually another one on there so um, but but one tends to be uh, tends to be enough I've got some uh, Tube patches, traditional kind of puncture repair, doesn't actually take up any space, so quite handy to keep with me. So these devices here, this year comes in a, a kit from a company called Welltight. I'll put a link below if you're uh, if you're interested. Um, but if you get a, a hole in your tubeless tire that your sealant's not quite sealing, then this is the sort of stuff that you're going to use to repair it. So you've got like a file rough edge on here. Does that show on the camera? Yeah. So you've got like a rough edge on here. So this is for perhaps making the hole a little bit wider, um, roughening it up a little bit to allow these, these sticky things to stick. And then this here is the uh, the tool for, for sticking these, these in. So what you do is you take one of these and you, um, you put it across, you put it into this this hole here, almost like sort of threading a needle, but it is open on the one side, as you can see. So uh, what you do is you, you poke that into the hole, pull this back out, that leaves these in, typically in a kind of a, a V shape, and plugs the hole, and then you can trim them off, leave them however you want to. I found a smaller tool. Um, this was in Go Outdoors. Uh, I think this comes from a company called Genuine Innovations and purely just because of the size of it it's quite small it's quite handy um i would expect my sealant actually to f to um uh, to seal a hole uh, this big but just in case um it's quite handy to carry anyway and it again doesn't really weigh a great deal should these not actually work properly correctly um they are sticky and they will stick in the hole um it's always handy to have a bit of uh, a bit of glue as well so now, i've recently done a full video on these things but this is a co2 canister so um if you are repairing a tubeless tire and you want to pump it up pretty quickly this is definitely the uh the way to do it and um i normally carry one of these and this nice simple tool for inflating the tire many years ago somebody told me a piece of um toothpaste tube is useful to make what they call a tire boot so if you slash the side wall of the tire you can put this inside the tire um perhaps glue it in place and it will hopefully hold the tire uh, together a little bit better so maybe we'll get you out of a catastrophic tire failure who knows um, on that front as well I've got some Gorilla Tape wrapped around my pump here which is excellent for sealing holes in stuff anyway so that might use I carry a spare Presta in there for the valve um, very easy to break one of these if you're, you're pumping it up a bit too vigorously quite Quite a good idea to carry a spare one of these and due to a, a mishap i had last year i've now started carrying a, a, actually a completely spare valve um very useful uh, i didn't have one on me on the particular day but this one here it actually snapped at the top so um luckily somebody with me was carrying the spare valve and i've now decided to do it ever since it would have meant me putting a tube in but of course, if you're out for a, a long ride, you might want to save that for a, a later. Um, or you might have already used that and then you've used another tire. You've broken this one on another wheel. You know, if, if 
every eventuality you need to do it. You might wonder why I want to cover every eventuality. Well, I've trained as a mountain bike guide and um, quite honestly, when you train as a mountain bike guide, you do fancy taking the kitchen sink with you from time to time. So I um, hope that was interesting. If you've got any questions or comments on any of this stuff, please put it below. Um, and now as promised, what I said I was going to do was run through some of the stuff that other people said to me that they were doing. And I'm just going to run over to Twitter now. So here we go, as you can see here now, what do you carry on your bike to repair your tube, tire? I'm going to do a video, what you carry, DM me a pic or blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so here are the responses that I had. This was the, the picture that I put up just to uh, sort of entice people to get a bit interested. So as you can see here, we've got uh, Rogue Trooper bacon strips. So that's uh, what we've already talked about. Um, if that don't fix it, I'll bang a tube in. Um, Mark says that he carries a spare tube, a couple of tire levers. He likes the ones that came with MB UK magazine. Um, just uh, looking at that out of the corner of the uh, picture there, looks very much like the Park Tool ones, but who knows. So, <coughs> excuse me. So Yeti Pilot has a um, CO2 canister like the one I've shown you. And then those look like Dyna plugs. I've never tried those. Um, might be interesting if you've used Dyna plugs. Put a comment below. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, oh, Mark's back again, and he also says that he uses slime tubes. Ah, so these are inner tubes which have actually got like like a tubeless sealant within them. So that those definitely help to um, to just capture some of those little thorn punctures. That's quite handy. Uh, and looks like eventually he ends up getting his wife to pick him up. Uh, the Northern Rider carries patches. Spare tube, tie levers, hand pump, and his multi tool. Rogue Trooper, he's back again. Um, and a spare valve core. Here we go. Like I've just shown you what I have. Uh, bicycle nuts carries a tube, a tire lever, and a pump. Also keep a patch kit handy and is un but it's unlikely I'd faff around with that on the trail. That's a fair point actually. Uh, but if you've got to the point where you've used everything else up, maybe that's what you need. Mark says he carries streaky bacon. This one did uh, catch my eye last week. So we've got this big picture here of a full riding pack. Um, it's a bit more on a puncture kit in here, but as I was just talking about a leader's pack, this is the kind of stuff that uh, I was talking about. I can't see the kitchen sink there, but I do spot a uh, whole host of other things. Fair play, that's a, uh, that's a pretty good pretty good setup 1970 Mike Mark to the staffy lover don't know who you are I don't carry anything just a bottle can't be doing with that backpack bollocks ride light and free as the Lord intended and Mina at Rochdale says I'm relatively new to cycling up until getting a puncture all I used to carry was a banana and a can of iron brew I haven't experienced a puncture I carry a spare tube lever multi-tool plus pump and still the banana and the iron brew. Dr. Berms CO2. He's got run flat foam inserts. Ah, never tried those. Might be useful. Run flat foam inserts. Um, it's nowhere I'd want to try and pop a bead by hand on a trail. Just always make sure I'm well topped up with fresh sealant. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can honestly say that uh, maybe since I've been since I've been tubeless, say three or four years, I reckon probably only two punctures I've had to fix on the trail. So um, you set it up right. You. Unless you've had something pretty nasty happen, then uh, normally get you home. Uh, Shane says, the same here, minus CO2. So I think that's the same as Dr. Berms, yeah. Daniel Steele carries a spare tube. I'm assuming he has a pump as well. Uh, Haribo for the long walk home. Uh, healthier blokes, just a pump, spare tube, and a phone for my lovely wife on speed dial. I don't carry anything. <laughs> um... I carry all this on long trips, says Mars Zalex. So um, there's some good spares there, including the valve cores like I was talking about. So uh, yeah, good good set of kit there. Um, yes, oh yeah, I answered the question there. Two bike tools, what's missing? No, one of them has a two and a half mil Allen, longer and easier to use. That's a good point. I might cover that in another video at some point, actually, because uh, there are some things with uh, Allen keys that can be a bit of a pain on the bike. Right, I hope that was interesting. Um, somewhere on the side of the screen here, I'm probably going to put some links to some 
videos on some of the other stuff that I talked about, like my pump and the CO2. So if you uh, if you want to learn a little bit about some of those things, then please have a look at that. And um, I will see you in the next video.